let's put the um, gearbox onto the uh, engine stand. So let's test fit some of these components before we put them in. This needs to go in with the little, these little half round goodies and then in with a circlip. Once that's done I can put all the, I can put this cover over so that I can, so the circlip is put in before so that I can get to it. And then I can put this cover over and, and then tighten the bolts because it's going to be quite tricky I think to get this on and to get to that circlip. Let's put some diesel on this nut that was sandblasted with the water sand dustless system that I used the other day. This diesel will have a little bit of oiling properties. So this rubber seal doesn't look too bad. I think I'm gonna use the old one. The new ones are not very nicely made for some reason, who knows. This one looks fine, I'm just gonna add it on. I think I'm gonna wet this seal around here so that the, the paper gasket sticks nicely. This is such a simple type of CV joint. This guy must have been a genius engineer who put this thing together. Anyway, so you can see you get the full range of motion this way and then that way. These are those little half round things. This is great.
Look at that. That went on straight away with a little bit of heat. That is flipping amazing. That is so great. Okay, cool. Now for the next step. While that damn gasket maker is still wet, I need to get this on and bolt it down. I don't know if I've done the right thing, but uh, if the thing leaks, at least all the parts are clean. The saying, at least all the parts would be clean if I have to take this thing apart, if this thing leaks. I might try a different method on the other side. Um, and I'll take note of, okay, so it's the right hand side that I've made this mess with. Let's see how it goes. Thirteen millimeter bolts. Let's try and tap that hole both of those holes. I don't seem to want to let the bolts in. Damn it. I should have bloody tapped these things before I put this cover on. So I'll do that for the, the other side. You live and you learn. You make mistakes and then you learn. Okay. Look at this, can you believe it? How wonderful. Okay, how's it guys? Um, so, I've had a little bit of trouble with these little things. I don't know what you call them, it's part of that little CV type of thing um, inside the, the differential. Now obviously what happened is I pulled the drive shaft out the side shaft out and then this thing flipped down and then it wouldn't go back in um, I managed to get the circlip off while this cover was on um, so that I didn't have to redo this gasket which would have been a real pain um, okay so now I need to make sure that I don't pull the shaft back out those little half round goodies don't fall back in because otherwise I have to take that circlip off again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the um, sleeve over here and then tighten those bolts up and see. Oh, and I've just been cleaning the spaces um, and bearing for the end of the shaft. So that should all tighten up quite nicely um, and keep that side together. Then we can start working on the second side. Can then start working on the second side which will be most excellent because then this damn thing will be together so i'm putting the gasket maker on that seal as well to increase the thickness there. I only got two gaskets per side and those gaskets there are used to do um, some tolerances so I'll add some red goo to the other side as well and then we'll get hopefully get to within the right tolerance there. gasket maker on the two paper gaskets and then we're going to um, attach the side shaft yes getting somewhere guys Um, there's one other little thing to do is to clean the nose cone whoops 
clean the nose cone off of the other gearbox and put it on here.